Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this rainy day's song has taken a life of its own. It seems like Boogie's project has literally boiled down to Eminem's verse on rainy days. And not even Eminem's verse. Eminem's opening four to two to four bars. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SJ Nation. Welcome to my page. My name is Guru Riaz. You probably seen me on uh, the Four Horsemen song. Yeah, I'm the I'm the um, second to the last, right before. I mean, you know, <laughs> might not recognize me without the ponytail, but it's me though, huh? It's me, snitches. It's me. I'm here. Um, speaking of that, I need everybody to go watch that song right now. It's at over 800,000 views, and we are trying to make that hit a milli mode. That'll be the first song that I'm on. That'll be my first million views, you know what I mean? I know it's not my song, but first million views that I am uh, associated with. So keep watching that. Let's get that. SJ Nation, we got to make sure we get that to a milli rock, because that's going to be big for us. And we almost to 50,000 subs, man. So if you knew, hit the sub button so we can get to 50,000. Y'all already knew how, I, uh, what was it, 30,000? Was it 40,000 or 30,000 that we had a celebration, live stream? We're going to have a 50,000 celebration on live stream. Um, when we hit that, it's going to be fun. Y'all know you know, y'all know what it is. But this time, I want everybody to celebrate with me. I, you know what I mean? Everybody going to get... Anyway, let's get into it. So you knew the Joe Button podcast couldn't let this slide. You knew the people at the Joe Budden Podcast could not let this slide. And by this, I mean Eminem's verse on Boogie's album. Eminem's verse on Boogie's album. The controversial verse. You know any time that Joe has a chance. Well, I wouldn't even say that. Let me not say that. Let me not say that because that's not true. Because um, in this, I would be unfair to pretend like he has a right to speak about this. Everybody was speaking about this, right? Now, um, y'all asked me to say my thoughts, and I was just going to make it a, what's it called? A breakdown video with, you know, no reaction or nothing like that, just me talk, talking. Until I stumbled upon this footage on the South Parlor official YouTube page. Well, it's not footage, it's audio. Of the Joe Budden podcast, and they're talking about it. Now, what's, here's the crazy part. This got to be some, like... Super, super exclusive because I've never seen, I never saw, unless this is, it's got to be a super exclusive regardless because I was like, man, maybe um, this episode never, I mean, hasn't dropped yet. It's about to, but then I was like, well, damn, if they haven't dropped yet, then that's still exclusive. And I was also thinking maybe it did drop on Spotify and I just didn't watch it because uh, I, I really kind of like to wait for them to uh, hit the um, YouTube before I watch them and then I like to kind of watch them together as one thing so we're gonna break it down we're gonna listen to it we're gonna see what he's saying um let's get right to it ready set go yep let's do it yeah, I, know. we can talk about the, I, would, I, would, I would talk about the group chat that was, that was let's talk group. about the eminem verse i didn't Come speak on. a word about boogie's album in the group chat i put the eminem yeah, yeah. bar away with that verse on the boogie album it was but i was talking that, about eminem. that that bar man Oh, you didn't know that. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought you didn't know that. Oh, no, Joe knows. Okay. All right, so come on. What do y'all think? Wait, you trying to sound like I was... Joe, I'm not going... Hold on. I'm not going to lie. Joe is is mad excited to roast this, though. <laughs> okay, but you can't be mad at him, bro. You can't be mad at him. Like, we... Know, as long as we live our truths, then you can't really use anything to destroy somebody. If his truth is, yeah, I'm, I'm mad at him then it wouldn't it make all the sense in the world that he's acting, behaving like this? Okay, wait a second. No. You? <laughs> or I feel like he's sliding me no. or something like that. I feel Yo, like he you did know some... what? Let's get to this, right? Let's get to this. Here we I go. Cap joke. This is... No, no, no. Let's let... No cap. Let's get to this shit with Joe. No cap. I ain't even wearing a hat. Joe talk all this shit, right, about Dreamville, all this bullshit. J.I.D. get on the phone. He, oh, yo, I really like that kid. Anytime Fact. Joe talk to somebody, he... Goes right and puts uh, his dancing shoes on. Hold on. Rory and Maul. That's facts. That's humongous facts. There is no, that, that, there is nothing untrue about what you just said. 
But watch how Joe Budden is going to find a way. And this is the weirdest thing about Joe. Joe will find a way to flip some shit, but he's not even good at it. It's just that Rory and Maul don't press the issue. Like, he'll say some real, like, nigga, that's not true shit. And then, like, kind of Rory and Maul. Rory and Maul got, like, one Joe exposing card every every podcast. And then after they exceed that, they're like, okay, we can't expose him anymore. Let's just, let's just let him talk. So... Let's see how he rebuttals that absolute bar. Ready, set, go. Like, you can't look at me that way. It's not dancing because you like kids. <laughs> and it's every, every oh, person. Hold on. It's not dancing because you like kids. Nigga, what the fuck? Are you? Uh, ready, set, go. I like you said what you love. Pause, by the way. Pause. I like that kid. I never, never said with him. I like that kid. But again, Rory, I have no hmm. problem talking about the niggas I don't like, which is most of these people. <laughs> and then you sit with them and you love them. No, no. Facts. I don't sit with people I don't like. See, that's the thing. That's why it looks like that to people. I don't sit with people I don't like. That's not true. And then this is the part where it kills me because then Rory and Maul let that. I'd be like, yo, do y'all do y'all know Joe Button? Like, yes, you do. Yes. Okay, Joe. When Rory is saying that, come on, my nigga. Like, you, you, you're smarter than that, my nigga. When Rory is saying that, my nigga. He's not speaking about your, your podcast, bro. He's not speaking about your podcast. But you have definitely 110% been seen talking to people that you don't like. And when you talk to them, you change your whole tune. You are the person who literally said, you literally be like, on everyday struggle, every guest, I might have been wrong about that guy. And the fact that nobody brought up everyday struggle, the fact that nobody brought up Yachty, he didn't like Yachty before he met him, and I know he's going to lie when you ask that and be like, oh, well, I didn't, no, you didn't, you're going to lie though, you didn't like Yachty before you met him, there's a lot of people up there that you didn't like, or maybe you didn't like, but you just talk shit about like you didn't, and then when you got there, you changed your tone, I cannot believe that y'all let him say that, I was, you don't sit with people you don't, that was your argument? So, and then when Joe makes arguments, I'll be thinking like, oh, he gonna have like a nice, maybe, I've learned that Joe doesn't have good rebuttals. I'm learning that Joe is probably not used to people calling him on his bullshit. So he really, cause that was such a lie that if Rory was like, what? You don't, what? Ready, set, go. Well, uh, I'm gonna stop here. Maybe it's hard to know who you like and don't like because you talk shit about so many people though. Ready, set, go. I have that much control over my business that I tell them no. <laughs> Revolt. Hold on. Here's a rule of thumb. When Joe Budden does this <laughs> laugh, it's because he's bullshitting. I've learned that. He does it a lot. When Joe Budden, Joe Budden's laugh, uh, that's his nervous laugh. Think, think, that's his nervous laugh. Everybody has a nervous laugh. When he goes, <laughs> he does it a lot. Pay attention. Watch the Joe Budden podcast. Pay attention how many times he goes, <laughs> when he does that, he's bullshitting. When he goes, oh, <laughs> Then he's telling the truth. That's his real life. When he goes, <laughs> that's because he's nervous and he wants to get out the situation. Or notice when he goes, a lot of time the room doesn't laugh. But just ready to say go. Here. That's it. Because they so, don't really want to be on love. Talking about your whole <laughs> No, they don't. See, you see, how that, you see the difference in that a lot? <laughs> and the I'm telling you, it's weird little stuff, but you got to catch the psychology. Well, you know how Joe be loving to bring up, uh, when I was in therapy. Shut up. <laughs> I love you, Joe. My bad. You don't have to reiterate. My bad. You was on it, nigga. Shut up. I was. I can't even. I can't, yeah, I can't. Get to Emsburg, bro. Come on. South Parlor official is where I'm getting this. I don't know how they got this audio. What are you giving us? No, I'm not trying to say you're dancing. I'm trying to say that uh, when you put that there, I didn't I haven't heard the verse. This must no, be to the I new episode. I only read it. Had nothing to do with Boogie's album. You read it? Yeah, because that was from. It sounds edited no, weird, though. That's why I'm like, maybe they like ripped this from something. That had nothing to do with what he says on his album. Tell me what, what he assigned to them. What he's going to say, no? Rory, I only <laughs> want to hear what you told the chief after you heard, read that. The chief. Okay. <laughs> what did you say, Rory? Don't, 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 don't moonwalk. What's the, what's I, that? What's I want to hear what Rory told the chief. Who's the chief, Rory? If you scroll back, I don't know who the chief is. I have no idea. I never called nobody the chief. Chief is just who you're talking to when, when it's either it or not it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, got you. That chief. So okay. when you read that, what, what did you say to the chief? Did you say that was it to the chief? Well, I don't lie on this podcast, so I will or say... Or to the chief. Hold on. By the way, I will be doing a... Re my remix screwed up to uh, Rainy Days will be coming 
today. So stay tuned. Ready? At noon. Ready? Set. Go. I didn't say anything. Stay tuned. This is. Check. This might but be my I'll best verse I've ever spit. I'm going to keep it above. Can't say, best hey, remix, at least. You guys think I'm ruining my legacy and then follow it up with two bars that are ruining your legacy. Let's stop it there. He said, Eminem can't open it up with, hey, why do you guys think I'm ruining my legacy? And then open it up with bars that are ruining his legacy. How do I feel about that breakdown? Honestly, y'all want me to go hard? Oops. I missed, missed the move light. Y'all want me to be real? I know y'all want me to be real. I think he's right. I think Rory's right. I think Rory's absolutely right. Absolutely positively right. Now, I'm not saying that these bars ruined his legacy and what. Of course not. He's had cringier bars. That's pretty cringy, though. But, but what I'm saying is that when you open up a verse talking about, and they say that I lost it, your next bar better be a universally liked bar. Because... I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. The only people that I've seen like this verse are extreme Eminem fans. Extreme, extreme, extreme. Because I'm an Eminem fan and I didn't like it. I liked it because I, 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 when, I, when I did a reaction, I said, and the more I listened to it, the more it, I'm like, yeah, that, was, that wasn't that great of a verse. Because when you do a first reaction, you'd be mad excited just to hear new music. But um, the verse was cool halfway. The first, like, four or eight was not good to me. Um... I think he's absolutely right. Like, the only people I've seen really protecting this is... And, and you know how I say extreme Eminem fans? Because, of course, I got a... There's a lot of us out here. There's a lot of Eminem fans, especially on this page. But I literally said... Like, I've literally seen some people who have been arguing against me before with Eminem. Like, no, you can't say that about M. Da -da 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 -da. I've seen them be like, yeah, that verse wasn't it, chief. Now, I've literally seen some of the most die, and y'all can't tell me what I've seen. Trust me, trust me. You might think you're a, a Eminem fan. Or st trust me, I know some people who are more diehard than you. Trust me. And them people came to me like, yeah, this ain't it. This ain't it, chief. So, yeah, I, I agree with them. There's no reason to have, because even if you thought that bar was dope, enough people didn't that it's like, bro, it's not a, it's not a universally dope bar. That bar you hear, and it's... it's because I think even the people who are extreme Eminem stands and are saying that, or trying to protect it, I think most of them are saying things like, oh, he was trolling, or oh, how do you not see it's a joke? They're not saying it's good. They're not. And the funny thing is, like, they, they act like they had a conversation with Eminem. Like, M, what if M, what if you're sitting here li resting on the fact that it's a joke, obviously, y'all stupid, he trolled, what if he wasn't? You know you just said it was whack then, right? You're banking on the whole thing being a joke. What if it wasn't? What if M was really trying to spit bars? M has not came out and said anything about it. What if he really was trying to spit bars? And you said, if I'm telling you, everybody who's saying he's trolling is a joke, be careful because you're you're saying it's whack. You are. Like you're saying it's whack. Like I'm I, I'm not like I don't think the verse is whack. I thought the verse was fire. The first couple, he could have he could have scrapped those. But if you come out and you say like he was trolling, you're essentially saying it's whack, because he hasn't came out and said that yet. So why are you insinuating? Because if I wrote a verse that I really wanted to be dope and I was try trying to go hard, and then everybody came up and be like, oh he's clearly joking, I would be like, damn nigga, that was, must have been a whack verse. But he said go. Agreed. I agree. What were the bars? Just for context. The sheep, sheep, shepherd, fucking sheep. So oh, I thought you had and when you hear people break it down, it's even worse. Like, having sex with his sheep. Fuck what you heard. Uh, I, le I left my legacy. Wait, her wait, question wait, wait, mark. Wait, wait, fucking wait. absurd. Like a shepherd having sex with his sheep. Fuck what you nah, heard. Nah, the next bar is even bad too. Uh. All this talk in my ear, I got an idea. Like the clerk when you're trying to buy beer. Hold on. Now, I, when I initially watched the the uh, the song, I liked that bar. You know, I thought it worked. I keep saying it's the spacing, bro. I keep saying it's the, the way that they space that bar. I don't think it's necessarily the bar in itself. It's a cringe bar because you set it up cringe. That's what I'm saying. But ready, set, go. <laughs> then they start laughing. Yo, M. <laughs> don't do that. We might be missing it. He said we might be missing what? I'm missing what? And I'm dancing. A, a, no, no, I, say it again. Read it to yourself. Yeah, you, you uh, dancing, okay, go ahead. I got an ID. Uh, I'm trying to, wait, I missed the idea, like a clerk when you're trying to find beer. Is that a beer? Idea. Tell me. 
Jodigan. Your ID. I'm asking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you missed. No, 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 no. Come back. We're gonna stop it right there. Basically, they just die laughing at the rest of it. I say like this: as an Eminem fan, I really wish he would not have said that. If y'all notice, when Eminem do like, I'm not a, I'm not a stan. I'm a fan. Um, it's, it's very, it's not healthy to be a stan. I think this being like a unapologetic stan kind of actually hurts artistry because if you can't tell M like, yo, you're better than this, then you're just accepting everything he does, then you're kind of not a fan, right? If M was your brother, you wouldn't let him walk outside dressed stupid, would you? Right? You, you gotta, uh, right? Like, you, if, if your brother would come out this, because here's what I think, you will never let somebody you love make a fool of themselves if you can stop them doing it, right? You wouldn't make an excuse for the, if, you, if your brother was walking out in his drawers, you'd be like, get in the house and put some pants, what's wrong with you? That's what you'd say, right? If you just let your brother go out with drawers and then the world tears him up and he comes back like, why'd you let me walk out here with drawers, nigga? You can't really say you loved him. He's like, oh, I just didn't care. So, we love you, M. From the bottom of our hearts, we know, the reason why we're upset at this is because we know you could do so much better. And we're anticipating it so much. So, and I, I'm mad at the fact that Boogie ain't even getting the, 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 the uh, push or the conversation piece that he should be getting. But honestly, maybe this is what he needed. Maybe what this is that troll that he needed, um, even if it was an accidental troll, because I know the streams of that song are going to be crazy. I just want Boogie to do numbers, bro. If this was a, a plot to make Boogie do numbers and really M was just like, I'm going to come in with the most cringiest bars I possibly could. It's still a little annoying because I know that's not true. But even if it is, that's still a little annoying because then why didn't you do that on Kamikaze? Why didn't you just come with super whack stuff? On? You came with your best shit on Kamikaze. So why don't you do a troll there and be like, oh, let's get the numbers up. Let me troll by being whack. You came in there and just and had to make sure yo, yo was sharp. You know what I mean? My remix, Screwed Up, Rainy Days is coming. And I promise you, y'all, this got to be one of my best screwed ups ever. Like, ever. It's so good that I couldn't just drop the audio. You know how sometimes I just drop the audio? I was like, nah, I can't do that. I got to drop the whole thing. I got to drop the whole little thing, thing. You know what I mean? Word. Bye, bye. Like, comment, subscribe. We on the road to 50,000 views. Four horsemen still jugging. Get that to a million views. We are 800,000. Shout over 800,000. Shout out to Dax, Crip, uh, Kredeka. Um, and we got some big, more big things coming. So, And by we, I mean me. So, <laughs> Love y'all. Stay tuned. Yeti! Going live tomorrow on the Screwface Live channel. We out.